gonna say it goes up the knot hole, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Turn you seven. Know. Finally, right. we're on to episode two. Okay, so you know what they say, the anima of my enemy is my friend. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> yeah, yeah, get all of the coins that aren't there. You know, Koopa Banks really need to work on their loan system. Why'd I do what? I have no items to undo it? Peach cursed me last turn. Any kind of item that you can apply to yourself works. You landed on Koopa Bank too quickly, uh, Solemn. Yeah. Now there's three coins, you could have at least got a blue space bonus. Now it's me with the computer. Oh, the turns have tabled. Fuck. I love Dungeon Duo, okay? I'm going to, I'm gonna put that out there right now. I love Dungeon Duo. But now I can't land on the spinning platforms. <laughs> Why? Cause I'm too floaty. Oh shit, wait, fuck. That's right, ruin your chances. Hurry, Peach! Blunt Blunt Mash! Blunt Mash! Blunt Mash! Sorry, it's fine. Let go now. We're coming back. Peach, hurry! <laughs> Matrix slowdown of Peach jumping onto the platform. Why do I freaking jump? Are you sure you're not hitting the B button? I'm not. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, I finally landed on the platform. I'm seriously, I'm not doing this on purpose. There we go. Come on, I can make it to the pipes, the best part of the dungeon. Make it. Okay, I'm on the platform. Let's go, Peach. Yeah. The bottom one. Yeah. Princess power. No. Did the, what you did on your second drop. Yeah. It's over! Yeah, jumping onto these platforms is just so floaty now. I never had that platform, I platform issue in Mario Party 4. Ever. <laughs> I didn't even beat the record. Me and Peach are awful. We didn't even beat the record. You say you're awful. We didn't even make it to the pipes. Sure. That's the first time I even made it to the pipes, okay? Oh, congrats. Thanks for what we did. Glad we could be guinea pigs for you. Thank you. <laughs> This is how you win. Find friends who are worse at the game than you. <laughs> I'd be mad, but that's not an incorrect statement. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I need a four. Fun fact is I got the first Nintendo game to appear on my channel as well. Oh my god. We're making history. 
Okay, I want triple. I'm going to get that Sightseer star. Oh yeah, then there's Sightseer and Slowpoke star. And I, I detest when the bonus star random picks the Sightseer for most traveled and Slowpoke for least traveled. How am I supposed to get all the bonus stars if you're gonna do that to me, game? Well, we, they gotta appeal to everybody. Also, Peach, you... Donkey. Uh, we're going with... Donkey. I had a phrase that I used to call Peach, and I used it in the last episode before I looked up what it meant, and now I can't call her that anymore. Even, like, jokingly. No. The, the word bag was involved. I'm gonna define it here, so when I was a kid, and I was innocent of the world, and playing video games, I would call Peach, when she was a CPU, a bag lady. Because she would always steal my stars and just be a nuisance to me. And last week, after I revealed that I would call Peach a bag lady, I thought, you know, somebody's gonna call me out on this and say, Oh, you shouldn't have called Peach this. It's offensive to bag people. So I looked it up. And bag lady refers to a mentally unstable woman who has nothing and everything she does have is carried with her in bags. So now, now as an adult, I feel bad for thinking that I invented this great video game insult for a polygonal princess that looked like she was wearing a bag. Yeah, I remember watching that episode because I wanted to see... I wanted to strategize. You wanted to see how I played so that you can figure out how to best me? Much, How's that going good. for you? I figured out the TV Piranha Mini game by watching you <laughs> I mean, uh, technically, I you're both video. pink. I would hope that you would. I was watching Rosalina. Why? You're not pink. I well, I'm not know. pink. The connection is unstable again. And as punishment, the game is lagging. Oh, you and me tied. I had a gold one. Yeah. I almost had two. This is, I believe, a lot of people have agreed that is the worst minigame because there's no strategy and the random. I had an entire round where no Goomba walked under my cage. It li they literally walked around the shadow. Oh yeah, I was waiting to try to like wait for a good time kind of thing, and it was not coming. So eventually, I was just like, okay, well, I'm dropping now, and I just happened to get the gold one. Yeah. I've seen a computer turn down a star once. I was very confused. Was it near a boo? Actually, that's insult to injury. The computer yeah. saying no to the star. Yeah. That's like saying, yeah, I'm rich enough to own this, but I'm not going to get it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's like uh, Musk saying, yeah, I'm rich enough to stop world hunger, but you gotta prove it first. Yeah, I... There's so much to say about how broken the world is. But that is that is too deep of a conversation to have on a stream of two people. It's gonna be recorded as well, you know? Posterity. True. Plus, then we can throw it up in the creator group and be like, hey, everybody, look at us being all like. Awful with terrible. this terrible connection. Look at us <laughs> being awful. Good, I've we made it make, to make, the star. Make, uh, conversation, see? <laughs> yeah. We know how to talk and be human. This is how I talk with my human voice. Yes, see, 
uh, Mega is actually a computer, and the reason that we're having connection issues is that his dick's stuck in the USB port. <laughs> I mean, he is an R2-D2 unit. An R2 unit, there we go. Star Wars reference! For the Star Wars fans! Oh my gosh, did I just get two stars in one turn? I think you're just shy, actually. Oh my god. Uh, you need two, four, six. Four. I did. Actually, you did, holy shit. And here I was getting ready to steal someone's star. Sorry, yes! We're gonna have to kill you. D no! <laughs> my fans will miss me! You got a star! If only I had more fans! I'll take over as the new Dyrez. <laughs> I mean, if you want to operate my company. <laughs> oh, okay, good. They placed it right in front of me. Oh, that's unfair. <laughs> Roll a they two! <laughs> they effectively put it behind me, so you know, that's fun. I can't get it right now because I don't have enough money. Steal from Peach! I have to steal from Peach. She's the richest out of you three. And the last time I didn't steal from computer players, they got all the way up to 149 coins. Fortunately, the board was Woody Wood, so there was no King Boo to steal three stars. Yes. Oh look, I also landed on Bowser again! Hello, Hasbondo. <laughs> so you landed on my space, you have no idea what you're in for. It's time for one of my minigames. I've only ever played one Bowser minigame. I'll take your coins! Don't worry, Hasbondo, I will make you proud. This is basically Ice Rink Risk without the ice. And bigger objects to dodge. The connection. The slowdown is real. Welcome to my PowerPoint presentation. Start. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> this is gonna end in tears for quite a while. Probably multiples of us. I'm just standing. Here. Uh, we just need Peach to get hit. No! 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 Oh gosh! No! 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 Oh. no. Oh. Congratulations. I mean, he said your coins. He didn't say all your coins. It's only ten each. Uh, okay, fair. I mean, that is all of Birdo's coins. Guess you're not getting that star after all. Two ones, I can make this work. Or uh, two, because that's just backtracking again. Because okay, it's a happening space. I will use my dice. Yeah, start with the cursed die. I, I did not be. Okay. That is a chance of rolling a, a three, you know. Three! Three, three, three! Yeah! Ha 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 ha! I mean, I'll give you points for the strategy. Like, the strategy was real. The strategy was sound. You had a good plan. Look, okay, I got lucky space. Item bag would probably benefit you. So oh? With, like, smaller clips. So, like, I clipped in there before your strategy. It paid off zero for anybody. Oh, now I want a plunder chest. And to make sure you don't ever get 40 coins. Oh, double card. I don't know what that does. When you get to Toadette, she can offer you a second star only if you have the coins to pay for the second star. Right. And there goes the strategy of stopping you. So, I don't know yet if, how the effects of halving the price of a star, oh, oh, this is me. That's disgusting. Ah. 
I hate this mini game. I didn't realize I was the one in the Bowser suit. Oh my goodness, the suit is actually really adorable. And Bowser Jr. Uh, I was about to say, yeah, it's that's okay, Bowser Jr. Get the character right. Morton! Uh... Morton, Larry, Junior, not Junior. I mean, Morton Koopa Junior is Morton Koopa Junior. You just have to stay out of the middle. And you guys got 16 coins. Blah, slow down. Welcome to my TED Talk, where we talk about 5.5 5 frame per second connections. <laughs> I really need to figure out what's going on with my gaming chair. Why? What's wrong with it? Uh, it is currently a paperweight and has been for six months. And I've been in six month conversations with the brick over repairing and getting me a new chair. And I'm on a $50, you don't even get to see my chair because it's just a 50, like a $10 chair from Walmart. But it's so uncomfortable for long-term use. And the gaming chair was $400 of ecstasy sitting at my computer desk that I can't enjoy anymore. Why would you pay $400 for a chair? Because it's super amazing and comfortable. Yeah, but it's $400. Yeah, but he just said it was full of ecstasy. <laughs> I'm a video editor, I need to be at my computer for 8 plus hours when I do my editing and sitting on a cheap chair versus a chair that makes me feel like I'm on a cloud there's major differences Same, but I know my limits Also, I had the $400 oh, But the customer service of the brick has completely tarnished any type of me going back there for anything. Well, I got a story about some brick in their furniture customer service if you want. Sure. And I'm focusing. The slowdown is real. It's supposed to create tension. Oh, Dang it. Don't oh, worry, I don't think you guys were beating mine. I could. I got 0 0.1 yards on one of these rounds. Literally, the next moment would have killed me. So, Bubba and I got a uh, really large white like, yeah. sectional coach uh, and had the brick. You know, we got it from the brick, had them deliver it, the whole thing. They quote unquote assembled it. Well, we uh, at one point we were doing like a big house clean, so we wanted to like vacuum under the couch or whatever, or like mop technically, because we had like this, uh, it was like linoleum tile almost. It was like not, it was like fake tile, fake wood boards, but it was like plastic, you know, it is. anyways. So we're moving the coach out, so I'm just like dragging the coach out, and I'm like, wow, this coach is really like heavy, right? But it was extremely heavy. Um, and then when we go to push the coach back, there's a huge gash across the entire floor, across about 12 of the floor panels. And then we realize that, oh, the people from the brick that were assembling the coach, um, when they were screwing in the feet, they got the screw wrapped up in the, um, like, uh, like, fiberglass, like, under thing or whatever it is. And so it got, it made, like, a plug and the screw couldn't go any further in. And they were like, this is fine. So the screw was sticking out a good half inch. And oh. he talked to the brick saying, like, look, this was assembled incorrectly and it caused damage to our house. After we already had to fight these guys, because when they were dragging in the, uh... Um, when they were dragging the coach into the, uh, the rental, they banged it off about three walls causing damage. Oh, wow. So we had to fight them for that. So after all of that, we still didn't, like, they still didn't pay for the floor, and we were, like I mentioned, we were in a rental, so we had to actually go and find the, the floor panels that the landlord used so that we could replace it without them knowing so that we wouldn't get kicked out of the house. So yeah, that's my story. Rick is a good, is a, is a good 
I mean, at one point they were good. Because I, like, way back in the day, I had good service with them, and then all of a sudden, it's like a new management came in and decided to wreck on all their good qualities. Oh. No! I'm closest. Oh, Bird. Mega, you and me won because we were closest. Yay. Winners. Yeah. What did that mouth do? I don't want to know. <laughs> I played a stream one time with a streamer. And one of their friends played Birdo. And one of their other friends commented about what Birdo does with the snout. And it's, it's a colorful explanation. And, like, no. <laughs> Don't ever repeat those words to me, ever. You can oh. I'll mention to you guys after the stream something you should oh, never. Who's in the path? I don't think so. I think you stepped off the path. Yeah, you trigger it, but you don't get affected by it. No sign of life. Okay, reset the counter! Reset the Death Star! Hello, Loopsy918. Welcome to the chat. So you made it to the Bowser Space! And then the camera just hits you in the face. Oh yay, more Bowser minigame! Lose and I take your coins! I mean, if it's just 10 coins again. What about touching my butt? I touched the butt! But don't. <laughs> it was spiky and dangerous. I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah, there are better butts in this uh, arena to touch. And I think I'm gonna use one of them. Yeah. Oh, that could have ended Peach's career right there. A oh, uh, career as a serial kidnappy. I can kind of tell where Bowser is going to be. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Oh. He's going faster. Yeah, I, uh, I no! No! <laughs> <laughs> They uh, they play poker. There's lots of coins, and I'm sure they both have great poker faces. Let's go. It's my turn. And the, you know the reason that he kidnaps her and that Mario has to spend an entire journey to go and get her is because he's not Cooper the Quick, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey. Uh, I think I'm gonna do some laps. Hopefully this won't bite me in the butt later. Just knock the counter down a little. Well that and your you or Birdo are gonna get the star. Probably not Birdo, I can't remember where Birdo is. Can't remember where Mega is. Uh, but either you or Peach will get that star. And there's no point in me trying to rush over to try to get it when I can be ready for the next star. It's one of those strategies. Yes. Another good strategy is if you know where which spaces the star has already been and you have a chomp whistle, you can set yourself up to be in the next location, whistle the star to you, and be done. 
because Strategery. yeah, strategery. Bountiful. All of us versus the wall. Fuck. I'm gonna lose. I don't remember this. This is the. If you have momentum going into your jump, you maintain that momentum. And that's how you lose. I like being in the three inner tubes because I like to troll the giant in the inner tubes. Oh my god, these things are so fast. Peach! Win for us! Win for us, princess! And she's lost. Oh my goodness, she made that dodge. She literally went into it. Dumb slut. <laughs> she, likes, she likes being kidnapped. He's got a whole bondage setup that she's really into. Of course she does. Cages, chains, what more does a woman need? I wouldn't know, I'm not a woman. <laughs> Is the plot twist at the end of the Mario series that Keith reveals that Mario's her side hoe? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to put a thing at the start of all my videos for Spaceland. Comments may not be appropriate for children. What do you mean? All these comments are appropriate for children. You see what kids sometimes. I, I mean, I know what kids are capable of saying. I hear them say it all the time. It blows my mind that parents let their kids talk that way. Listen, I was raised well. I've never said any bad words in my life. All those other ones don't count. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my statement on that, it, 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 without throwing any shade at any specific creator, is that... If you look at some of the, the, the Twitch content and YouTube content that parents just allow their kids to watch freely, mind you, not with any sort of limitation or timing, because whatever, it's it's no wonder that we've, we've uh, got certain problems with the youth. Well, in some cases, people grew up with those content creators, too. Like, I used to watch Trucker Conroy, Proton John, Luca Jin, Josh Jepsen, Tyler Cedar wall in uh, in high school just to, for kicks because they played video games. Who cares what they actually say? Yeah. And as they grew older playing their videos and doing their video game stuff, their language developed with them too. Yeah. And people don't realize that, uh, I mean, just because you're average, uh, you know, viewership or what have you. It, just because your average viewership is maybe older doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to keep it semi-clean. So I have certain decisions on my channel that are completely clean that, you know, not always the case, obviously. I see that the record is something I ain't just gonna find soon, so... Oh my god! Fuck! Yo, you madman! What are you doing over there? Um, I put my pointer finger into my shirt. I'll, I'll show it on my stream, so... Finger, shirt, inside... And then it creates a... Uh, sort of field so that my finger doesn't... Can just slide from one button to another. Because what I started with was, I'm just gonna roll my finger across all the buttons to try to go as fast as I can. And I saw that was going well. And then I'm like, yeah, but then my finger has to go from one button to another, and there's the lip of the button, so that could cause problems when I'm...